What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Duke's Outfitters where today I'm going to give you guys a one year follow up on my, uh, my Ginyu High Cider. Ooh, got it right there. Um, about a year ago, it's actually been 14 months, I bought, here, let me show you, this Ginyu, it's a 15.4 High Cider, so it's one of the lower end models of the Ginyus, um, but still very, very nice. Um, I, bought, I went all the way down to Florida to get it. Sorry, I'm just admiring. Them. But I went all the way down to Florida to get it. <clears throat> Open my screen back up here. And um, I promise you guys, like when I first got it, I made um, just a, like a description video of the whole thing. And I promised y'all I would update you on like some of the things that I did to it. And just kind of like give you guys the lowdown on what I thought about the boat. So the first thing that I did I replaced this guy so down under here on the old motor I'm flinging you guys back and forth a lot but down under there on the old motor I guess just never got cleaned very often and it corroded and there ended up being a hole in the exhaust and after like shipping and buying the part and everything it just ended up not really being worth fixing so replace that um, so I'm just gonna start from the back. I'm gonna work my way to the front. I think that's the best way to do this. So starting with the motor, we did the motor, the jack plate. Okay, so I told you guys I was going to put a jack plate on my boat and I did and I hated it a lot, like a whole lot. Okay, um, reason being, um, it put this motor, oops, it put the motor way up high and awkward and then it just raised everything up and it kind of started like throwing water everywhere and. I tried a bunch of different settings. I really tried to make it work and it was just not vibing for me. So I took it off. Um, it's still it's just sitting in the garage over there, but I took it off and just motored the motor back in its original position. And I like it much, much more this way. Um, honestly, if I'm in water that shallow, I don't need to be hauling ass with my motor anyways. Uh, that's just kind of how I feel about it. So we did that. The other thing I did is Told you I was gonna put C deck on there, and I did. Check it out. I so what I did is I actually posted a video of my dog uh, on my boat, and I told C deck I was like, oh hey, my dog's gonna slip off my boat. It was like just a joke, and they sent me a whole sheet for free. So they sent me a sheet of the like DIY stuff, and I used Ram board to template everything out, and then. Uh, I cut it out with an X-Acto knife and I used a sander to round the edges because I'm a carpenter and I guess that's just what I do. So, <clears throat> C deck. This guy. So that is what I use to make YouTube videos with. I made the crabbing video and the Freeport video and a couple other ones with that. Um, so it's just a boom and then I put the GoPro up here. I just don't have it on there at the moment um so the other thing and this is the biggest one oh my gosh what a lifesaver is the trailer so the old trailer the wheelbase was like right here it was made for a jet ski and so it like barely really even held the boat and i couldn't run a transom saver so i had to take the motor off every time that i used the boat and it was just a pain in the ass it was a pain in my back big time and just took a bunch of time so i finally I got a steal on the trailer, it was brand new from Academy, I uh, got a transom saver so now I can run the motor on the boat while it's on the trailer so I don't have to put it on and off and saves me some time and some backache at the boat ramp. So that was a really, really big upgrade that was like very, 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 very necessary. So here's my switch panel. My voltage reader <laughs> doesn't work, but the switch panel works. Um, this is my running lights. This is... Oof, I didn't show you guys this last time because I didn't even know about it, but I've got LED lights here on the inside underneath the rails. Um, so there's that. Uh, that's the light back here. Bing, bing, bing. And then I put a bilge pump in back here. I'll be damned if a $20 part is going to keep me from sinking. Or if I don't have the $20 part and then I sink, I'd be 
you know what I mean. <laughs> um, so the radio works. I got the radio working. That was another thing that I didn't show you guys last time because it didn't work. Um, there was just an electrical situation back there that I got resolved. Um, I'll flip you guys back around so you can see me. Um, yeah, so the radio works. It works really good. The trolling motor is something I want to change. I've had a little bit of trouble with it. Nothing too crazy, just like, it's just a little old. And I need, I, want, I would really like a saltwater one. So there's that. Let me show you guys inside the hatch of the boat. So this is where I keep my battery. It's in the garage um, charging. I just I took it out so it could charge while I was doing this. Um, but the battery goes here and then like, here's the leads and they just mount on there. And then the trolling motor plugs in at the front right here. Here's another camera mount. This uh, trolling motor mount was made from like a Nissan Frontier. The last guy that I that uh, owned this said he got it off of like a rack, off a roof rack of like a Nissan Frontier or something. So it works great. You can see, it just mounts on there and works really, really well. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So typically when I run, I have this. Um, cooler sitting right there and then I can hold on to this you know sit right there hold on to that and then when we go crabbing I'll put a bigger cooler right here that like my passenger will sit on and then um, it's a bigger cooler right there passenger sits on there and then they just kind of sit here whenever we crab and we put all the crabs in there because crabbing is what we typically take this rig out to do oh <sighs> man lots of information Just walking y'all around, letting you see the, the whole thing. <sighs> so yeah, guys. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I know I haven't really posted anything in a really long time, like six months. I've been really bad about it the past year. Um, those of y'all who follow the channel know Trevor died. Um, and I just, I have not <laughs> been feeling creative. Plus, I've been super busy with work, Duke's Construction, oh, and getting tattoos, and just kind of living my life and staying off of social media a little more than usual. Just, I don't know, taking a little bit of a break. But happy to hop on here and do this. I've been meaning to do it. Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys my tattoo. Got the octopus and the skull, and then there's a blue crab there, and then this is my most recent one. It says get well soon <laughs> and there's an alcohol bottle it's like a sobriety tribute type of tattoo so <laughs> i thought it was I thought it was punny so yeah so man i feel like there's something else i need to be announcing to people i don't know i'm in the houston area texas area i own a construction company i really like painting uh feel free to reach out to me guys um either comment on the video please comment on the video actually let me know what you thought about it and uh, if you have any questions on Ginus news or if you need any construction work done or you just have questions about anything in general or you want to go crabbing with me and you want to go on a trip or i don't know just hit me up i uh i welcome new people reaching out on the internet just because I've met some really neat people that way. So thanks so much for watching guys. Again, my name is Justin. Don't forget to go like and subscribe. Uh, I do more videos like this, mostly outdoor stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time on another, another episode of Dukes Outfitters. <laughs>